Where's the bitch? The bitch? What? The big dragon bitch. Oh, oh. I don't think I have enough stone. I have 41. I don't have enough stone. You Shh. can always find some around here. Looks like I'm digging. Ooh, that dragon sounds angry. Can I just beat it up? Yeah, I... Ooh. Well, oh. you're, you're right there, so you can come back. But I'm naked. All your stuff's here. Why'd they explode like that? I guess I forgot to mention they explode when you hit them. I don't know if you can hit them with um, arrows or not. I'll come get you. This is gonna take too long. No, it's not. I need, need to bust through all this. I just need to find your name. Oh, there you are. Ah! Ah! Alright. Hi. Here, I'll give you these. And some of these to get up. Thanks. Yep. How am I supposed to get my stuff? I'll look at the ground. Don't hurt me! I don't know where I'm going. Um, yours was over by the short one. I can't see. Okay. Guess. Follow. Follow me. You can see my butt. Okay. I just don't want it under a bunch of them to, you know. Yep. Oh. Ugh, I right. see my stuff. I did not come prepared for this. Oh, I don't know where my jack o' lantern is. Um, there's a couple of things over this way. Your jack-o'-lantern may be... Oh, it's right here. In front of me. Cool. Uh, uh. Woo! And you... There is a potion of... Like a healing potion up there as well. Up there? Yeah, up top. Okay, I gotta try and put my... Shit together. Oh, where's my sword? Probably up top. You got your pickaxe though, right? <coughs> Yeah. Dig back up. I forgot how tall these actually were. You went to the next one? I was, but I didn't have enough to get up, so... Now I... Hopefully have enough. Although, I don't really want to trust on hopefully. You could always dig for more for two things. I have 41, so I might dig a little. Oh, watch out, he's above you. Spit that. Me neither. Ew, it leaves like a a smoke. It's kind of cool. It's kind of lame. It hurts over time. Oh. I thought it was just a regular explosion. Oh, he was attacking an Enderman. Oh. I thought they were friends. Die. Yeah, I don't know. Did you get this one? I haven't gotten any of them. Like I said, I was, uh, I died. Well, not died. You died. I got, I didn't, I didn't make it up. Ow! 
what happened. Hit me with the smoke. Um, nervous. Okay, so I got one. You can hit him with arrows. Just letting you know. Ah! Fuck! I died. I know, I'm coming back down. Did he shoot at you? He, he shot at... For some reason my health was at one heart, which I don't know why. And then I was trying to fucking break down, and I fell. Oh. It's not very... Are you making stairs? Yes. Because it's not coming towards me. I'm... Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. <coughs> I just don't want to lose my stuff. You got time. <clears throat> there you go. I will, do you want me to go get your stuff for you? I'll kind of come with you. I'm just following your feet. Okay. Why am I dying to this fucker? I don't this is know. Stupid. So all your stuff is down here, though, right? I guess. I hit the ground, so... <laughs> okay, perfect. So, I managed to, uh, snipe two others. Oh, you did? Yeah, from the top. Okay. But, I mean, my pickaxe is almost broken. Whoa, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do this short one over here. I'm back by unpopular demand. <laughs> unpopular. Oh, I'm missing half my blocks now, but that's fine. I can just get new ones. any from here. Alright. Oh, I got one. Sweet. How many is there in the... Uh, <gasps> no! Oh! Oh, eat from this. I'm at full of food. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Oh! I managed to hit a- like, I destroyed one where I was, and then I managed to, uh, oh. shoot another one. So I think there's... I destroyed one! Okay, and then I think there's two more. I only see one. There's one on the really top one, and there's one that's caged. I, I... believe. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, I'm going back down. Are you shooting? Oh, you were shooting at this tall one? Yeah. Okay. It's okay, I gotta go back. Oh. <clears throat> okay. No! Oh, did he fire at you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. I just yelled no. <laughs> Okay, if you start working on that, um, I'm gonna go start shooting at him. Is, did you get the last one? I got the really tall one. Oh. I did it! Alright, sweet. And I didn't get hurt. That was all of them? I think so, yeah. Ah! can't hit him when he's down on that thing. Oh, why they not? Up, I don't know. They just end up burning up. That's stupid. So I was going to go try and... Break it? Punch him. No, it's uh, Obsidian, I believe. Oh. You see you're going to punch him? Well, <laughs> I was going to hit him with my axe. That's what I kind of meant. Ah! Like fish just punching dragons. I've done it before. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. circling up there. Oh, he's coming back down. Ah! Oh, okay, it hurt! Oh, no! I hit the wrong button. Okay. Okay, so we can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> that is not a thing we should do. Get back over here, you bitch. Nice. Thanks. You did it right, though, when he was coming down. Just kept shooting. Nice! What? You hit him. I hit him? Yeah. I was not expecting to hit him. Ow! Do it! Oh, I'm on fire! Ah. 
<laughs> you ender bitch! <laughs> Stop flying through things. We're breaking the game. <laughs> We've already done that. <laughs> oh, I think he's trying to heal. Oh, that would possibly explain it. It was, it was him hitting them. Or her. I don't know that's gender. Some dragons don't have gender. Some do not. Alright, past half health. Enderman's mad at him. <laughs> uh. Go! Nice shot. Oof. Doing good. Wish there was some like battle music or something. Right. You know the trouble with real life is there's no danger music. <laughs> this is fucking flicking them away. Exploded in the air. Yep. Did you shoot it? Yep. Nice. Ah, uh, stop shooting at his feet, Rumpus. that experience. That was your kill. <laughs> you help me. Come on. Come take some. I'll leave half for you. I want that egg. The only way to get the egg is to, um, um, you need water. What? You need, like, a bucket of water, and you need to, like, have water drop on top of it, and then it will knock it off. Why didn't you say something? Well, we killed the dragon. That's what we're here Rumpus! for. Rumpus! What is that? There's what? Oh. What is that? What is that indeed? I don't know, but it's encased in, uh... Obsidian. 
doesn't do anything. It just leaves a beam and then like it stops. Interesting. I wonder if that happens with all the this stuff. Maybe. Come on. Oops. We got muffins and Eleanor to get back to. Yes. We did it. We did. I'm proud of you. I'm you proud got, of you too. You got the winning hit too. <laughs> Alright. Time to go back home. And that was Minecraft. It was. With some hiccups here and there, mainly being, you know, the whole, um, whatever. I see the player you mean. Rumpus the wizard? Firefly the witch? Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. It doesn't matter. I think it's... It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It's reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible and very terrifying. Oh, oh and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. <laughs> what is this player's dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed of it created, and it dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted, and it and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. Ha! The original interface, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure did the, this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others, discovered the true world in a fall of the blah, 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 and created a little for the blah, and the blah, blah. It can read, th no, cannot read it at though, thought. Uh, no, it has not yet achieved the highest level that it must achieve in the long dream of life, not in the short dream of a game. Does it know what we love it? That we love it? That the universe is kind? Sometimes, though, the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes, but there are times it is sad in the long dream. It catches worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under black sun, and it was created for reality. Good of sorrow, but destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task and cannot interfere. I can't read all this. Sometimes when they're deep in dreams, I want to tell them they're building the worlds and... Oh, I fucked it up. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take for truth is mere and huh and huh. I wish to tell them that they are huh and the huh. They are so little of reality in their long dream, and yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them. Too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them living. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No. A story that contains the truth safely, in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name. Firefly the Witch, player of games. Bumpfist the Wizard, player of games. Also a player of games. Good. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes. Move your fingers. Have a body again. Under gravity and air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are. Your body touching the universe again at every point. As though you were separated. Or separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain. Father, sun, moon. Mother, moon. Ancestral spirits. Animal spirits. Jinn. Ghosts. The green man. Then gods, demons, angels, poltergeist, aliens, ex extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks, the world's changed. We do not change. We are the universe. We are everything you think is you. You are looking at us now through your skin and your eyes. What does? Why does the universe touch your skin and throw light on you? To see you, player. To know you and to be known. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, Firefly and Rumpus. 
It's hard to read. Sometimes it's though itself human on the crust of the spinning globe of molten rock. The ball of molten rock circled the ball of blazing gas so as you can read the rest, people. <sighs> Sometimes the player dreamed it was not lost in or it was lost in a story. Sometimes the player dreamed it was other things in other places. Sometimes these dreams were disturbing. Sometimes very beautiful indeed. Sometimes the player woke from one dream to another, then woke from that into a third. Sometimes the player dreamed it was Watch words on a screen. We know about that. Let's go back. The atoms of a pair were scattered in the grass, in the rivers, in the air, and the ground. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank and ate and hailed, and a woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm dark of the world, its mother's body in long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code a billion years old and the player was a new human never alive before made from nothing but milk and love you are the player the story the program a human made from nothing but milk and love uh, yeah let's go back further oh my god Sometimes the player created a small private world that was soft and warm and simple. Sometimes hard and cold and complicated. Sometimes it built a model of the universe in its head. Flecks of energy moving through vast empty spaces. Sometimes it called those flecks electrons and protons. Sometimes it called them planets and stars. Sometimes it believed it was in a universe that was made of energy that was made of offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code. Sometimes it believed it was playing a game. Sometimes it believed it was reading words on the screen. You're the player reading words. Shush. Sometimes a player reads lines of codes on a screen, decoded them into words, decoded words into meaning. Decoded meaning into feelings, emotions, theories, ideas, and the player started to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was alive. It was alive. Those thousand deaths had not been real. The player was alive. You. You're alive. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves of the summer trees. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the light that fell from the crisp night sky of winter, where a fleck of light in the corner of the player's eye might be a star a million times as massive as the sun, boiling its planets to plasma in order to be visible for a moment to the player walking home at the far side of the universe suddenly smelling food about to dream again. Sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, the scrolling words on the screen at the end of a dream. And the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. <clears throat> And the universe said everything you need is within you. And the universe said you are stronger than you know. And the universe said you are the daylight. The universe said you are the night. And the universe said the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said the light you seek is within you. And the universe said you are not alone. And the universe said you are not separate from any every other thing. And the universe said you are the universe testing itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said I love you because you are love. And the game was over, and the player woke up from the dream, and the player began a new dream, and the player dreamed again, dreamed better, and the player was the universe, and the player was love. You are the player. Wake, Wake up. up. Huh. It's kind of like a little love note. A really long love note. Even though I got super frustrated, I still enjoyed the game a lot. Yeah. It's quite a, a weird... Goddamn journey. Well, I was gonna say, like, that whole spiel that we just went through. It's a weird thing to have at the end of a game where you just punch blocks and make things. You're the universe. I'm not the universe. I'm in the universe. You're your own universe. On a molecular level, sure. Yes. <laughs> that was good, though. Yes. Good, good times. I liked it. Never doing that again. Remember all the fond memories of... Um... Ruta and Szechuan and... Roach and Apollo and Roach. Muffin, Eleanor. Mm -hmm. The actual Eleanor screaming. <laughs> Sometimes a Lucian. Rhombus, Our... Runda, and Rick. The dogs. It was... oh, I 
forget their names. One was Becky. Oh, and the other was, one was Susan. Wasn't it Wanda? No. There's a Susan. I don't know about that. And then we have the third one. I forget what I named mine. I don't know, Rumpus. Mm. And the chicken pit. I don't care about the chicken pit. <laughs> that was ridiculous. The the horse guardian of our little island, the white horse on top of the little mountain. The turtles, the villagers, the village that got wiped out completely. Because we took their stuff. It's not because we took their stuff. We took their stuff. <laughs> it's because their village wasn't guarded well and it was destroyed, taken over in the night. By zombies and creepers and skeletons and spiders. And we also took their stuff. That's not why they died. <laughs> they left to the other village. There was two that were safely underneath, hidden away. Plotting. And then I forced them out into the world. As if they were in a bomb shelter. And there was nuclear fallout. And we're like, hello! You must leave. Uh. Ah. Yes. Very good, very good. Yes. I never finished the barn. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish it one day. Well, I'm pretty sure we'll wake up in, uh... Somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe I... Yeah, maybe we'll wake up in our village. Probably not. Because if it's gonna wake us up anywhere, it's gonna wake us up at... The portal? Yeah. Or our last bed, which was... By the in, portal. Out in the middle of nowhere. Craig Snook! <coughs> oh. Excuse Patrick me. Tobin. Ah, oh, they had architects. Huh? Architects? Hmm. That was kind of shitty that um, the original portal got yeah. obliterated by that cavern. It would have been nice to be able to go through a little dungeon to get to it. Yeah. That's okay, though. You can only do so much. Yeah. That was out of our hands. Someone wanted to update the game. No. <laughs> because we took so damn long to play it. Okay. <laughs> Too busy catching axolotls and... Damn right. <laughs> Create a damn chicken pit that doesn't matter. It mattered. We had a lot of food. Yeah. So. Those potions didn't heal as much as I thought they would. I didn't would. even use them. I used at least three. It only healed two hearts. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what'd you th oh, you thought it was like the full health thing. No, 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 I didn't think it was full health, but I thought it was like at least like three or four for one potion. Hmm. Jonathan A. Hoof. Or R. Hoof, sorry. <laughs> or is that an A? It's an R. Okay. <sighs> Ryan Seaman. Oh. Colabera. Wes Pesetti. Zane Hintzman. Joel. Bjergman. Bergman. System engineers, realm software engineers. Web developers. Service software. 
I remember when these credits was only like two minutes. Really? Well, before it was only a tiny, tiny group of people when it was like first coming out. Jeebus! I'm pretty sure, at least. There's so many! Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, um, that Microsoft bought the company. So they all throw all their people in here. Yeah. We're only in the M's. Oh. Okay. So this is a different list now. Yeah. Rick Barrett to Theodore Fleming. Engineering managers Eric Rock. Oh. Now we're in audio. Music composery. Composery? Yes. Oh, that's all that there was in for music. Oh, then. Here you are. And these tippets. Jasper Borstra. Ryan Sand. Randstad. Randstad? Yeah. Alessa Tana and Andrea Sanchez Sepulveda from Randstad and Aaron Caswell as well. Isn't that a company? Like a... How am I thinking of Randstad? Or is it Randstad? Is it Randstad or Randstad? I don't know. Employer company. Hmm. Brandon Sullivan! Oh. It's quite the long credit sequence. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. We're on to production now. Yes! Producan. 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 Produca Hodden. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> John Thornton. John Travis Howell. Ryan B. Cooper. Sarah Jansen. Batch or Bach. Why are you showing us the head of Minecraft education? We're, we're not playing Minecraft education. No, we're not. Minecraft.net. Yes. <laughs> Aaron Coolbath, Inside Global Incorporated. Adrian Ostergaard. <laughs> David Siegel. Daniel Stewart. DJ Steiner. John Garcia. This is a lot of people. Yeah. Gibeline. Oh, hi, Eleanor. <laughs> She's even saying. <laughs> Just want some attention, Reno. 
Seems like it. Yeah. Are your beans warm? I put the heater on in the kitchen. Of course you did. It's cool in there. Like it's, it's cold everywhere. No, like it's colder in the kitchen. It's the weekend. <laughs> yeah, you Zachariah tell them. Zachariah Gustavson. Gustavson. Oh. Why is there so much? Brand creative! We're in it for the long haul, it seems. You could probably just fast forward it in editing. <laughs> We're not gonna show the credits? You could show them, but just quicker. I'm not sure if everyone's gonna wanna sit through this. I, mean, I don't even wanna sit through it. <laughs> See? <laughs> What was the grouping that we're in for this one? Grouping? Like, the title that was at the top in yellow. Oh, I don't know. I didn't look. You said it. What do you mean you didn't look? I didn't say it, I looked at the... You said it! Oh, here? Yes. Oh, um... Oh, brand! Oh. Sorry. I thought you were at the beginning when we went to log in. I'm like, yours was like gibberish. Oh, I'm not talking Talk about, about that. <laughs> Sorry. Lydia, what kind of story was that? Talking about cosmos and stuff. I like the story. Senior media producer Karina Peterson. Social media media managers really need to be in here. <clears throat> That's like a credit on a, you know. Well, I mean, I guess they do that in other games. If they have like a social media presence, they do all that. Yeah. And who made the website? But Ten Gun. Of the user experience. Anna Wendelin. Jin Shin. Josephine Lidquist. Probably said that wrong. Lucas Morales Salazar. Souza, maybe. I don't know. Operations. Juan Buyas. Juan Buyas. <laughs> 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 Stockholm Operations Head Sheila Ho Sheila that ho She's not a ho You don't know that Amy Stillian Oh fucking HR wonder how many problems they had in the HR department. Senior HR business partners. Another here, HR. Here we go. Well, they're the directors and then business partners. Here's the real human resources. They used their, them to make the game. Like, they were the resources. You know, like, fuel and electricity and they just like murdered them. That's the that's the joke I was kind of getting at. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is how they do it without people thinking. They actually murdered them. 
Yeah, we'll put your name in. Don't worry. Veronica. <laughs> Ulrika. <laughs> the front of house! <laughs> like in a restaurant? God damn. <laughs> Welcome to Minecraft Corporation. <laughs> This is our secretary at the front main Mojang office. I'm just saying their office better all look like Minecraft. Probably. I don't know of anything else that Mojang does other than Minecraft. Like their desks better look like that. It's like everything. I'd Pixelated want, and square. I'd want mine to be dirt. And the, <laughs> Your the, desk? The, yeah, the desk would be dirt, and the top would be, like, the grass. No, oh, I'd want mine to Excuse be made out of birch. Birch, huh? Yeah. Like logs, or... Yeah. The planks. The logs. Oh, weird. I know. Okay. You could have an, a nice, fancy, um... Like, the posts corners and then just like a big slab like it's a big like it's a huge stump yep fucking stump and then my chair i would want it to be a mushroom like a mushroom part of the mushrooms yep you know the only chairs they have are steps mushroom <laughs> step would be my chair I don't know if they have mushroom stats, but they could probably, you know. We have mushroom blocks. Well, yes, but I don't think you can make mushroom steps. That's okay. I'd just sit on the mushroom. All right. Yeah. User research. Ha! Jerome Hagen. Olga Zielinska. Pablo Morales. Business and licensing! Head of franchise business and growth! Scott DeLoso! What do you mean growth? They're anybody still who, growing! Anybody who plays video games knows what Minecraft is. But they, they're expanding. They're on mobile. Where are they expanding to? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know, Rumpus. VR. I'd do it. So would I. There's somewhere for you to expand, Mojang. Yeah. Minecraft VR. Yeah. They have it. Shit. Fuck. Do they? <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh. <laughs> um. I tried do. I tried playing there. Remember? And it just was janky and didn't work. Oh, right, right. Um. Oh, you know Ray-Bans? They got those fancy glasses that you can take pictures with. Like the Google glasses. Okay. But Minecraft. Oh. Minecraft glasses. There you go. And you can just play it with your eyes. Play it with maybe, augmented reality. And maybe get hit by a car because you're yeah. not paying attention because you're having Minecraft, cla <laughs> Minecraft glasses on your Tesla. <laughs> I saw that in the, uh, the village newspaper that uh, apparently you could play video games in a Tesla and now they're saying that you're not allowed anymore because it's distracting. And I'm like, oh, you just found that out. You needed research to figure that, that out. That it's distracting to be in a vehicle that's driving. Huh. <laughs> and playing video games. Lord. <laughs> Then I get well. Have they done the whole AI thing now, so that Tesla's can drive themselves? Tesla's can drive themselves. Well, then how is it distracting if you're not the one driving? Because the Tesla's like I guess the AI is not perfect, so, so if it goes to get into an accident or something, at least you're there to kind of figure it out. The way you worded that made it seem like they went to do it on purpose. So if they go to get in an accident, <laughs> the, the, the Teslas just like <laughs> fuck themselves, and they're like, like I'm sick of driving them around. I, why do I always have to do everything? Why do I have to drive? Yeah, but it's just, I guess, for surroundings. Like, if you're you're still not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Like, when people are napping and stuff in Teslas, and while they're driving, it's like... <sighs> I don't understand how 
people didn't see that coming. It's, it's you know, it's trial and uh, error, I guess. <laughs> trial and error, huh? Mm -hmm. Still going. This is a crisp, clean, cr cr crisp, clean 25 minutes so far of credits. Oh, fuck. Guys, come on! You could have made it go a little quicker. I'm gonna have just a credits episode. Marketing! <laughs> I'm not making an episode 50 minutes just because of the credits. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna have the finale and then I'm gonna have a credits episode. Don't do that. Why not? <laughs> Like, really? You're gonna have a credits episode? What else? We watch the credits here, Firefly. Legal! The legal team? The Minecraft legal team? Do you think they come in with, uh, mine, like, creeper ties? What with that? <laughs> like, if they got, like, a lawsuit against them? Like, the... The lead lawyer comes in and he's got a, a tie, but it's like the green blocky and it's got the creeper face on it. What are the rest? Um, maybe one's got like a sheep face. Maybe one's an enderman. Oh, there we go. It's a black tie with like purple eyes on uh, it. There's oh, okay. an enderman. We got the sheep. Um, maybe a skeleton. Axlotl. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, marketing and whatever. Do ties. You make unless they're already doing- are they already doing that? I don't know. Studio quality team? Microsoft. Microsoft. We're not even in Microsoft yet. <laughs> uh... Oh, wait. I guess it's kind of true. You can find pretty much anything on Etsy. <laughs> Etsy, yes. Quality engineers! Oh, I've seen those glasses before. Ryan Mate, what? The Minecraft uh, Creeper oh, yeah. blocky sunglasses. Quality analysts. Aiden Bauer. Eric Davies. Mike Sue. Tom French. Tom Brisbane. Oh, we're in the special thanks. That's usually the end. Oh, I, I hope so. <laughs> U.S. Tom Diederich. Doyle. <laughs> this is quite the hit list. The hit list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the test associates. Can't forget about them. All from Exparis. Exparis. I don't know. Jocelyn Engstrom. Oh my god! Oh, fuck! Another special thanks! There's gonna be another group. Stop it. And be able to grow a beard, Rumpfist, by the time this is over. I've already got one. Oh, the special thanks, special thanks! Wow! Oh. oh, this has to be the end. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Credits were so damn long that I fucking. <laughs> 
No! Poland! <laughs> Minecraft. Credits episode. Just the credits. Doing another one. We only need one. No, don't, 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 yeah, don't start it up. I'm not one. starting up with that one. <laughs> Over here in uh, Lang's Day, we got negative seven temperatures and snow showers. Yeah. Give you a little update on our life here in the cabin. There's a bit of snow on the ground. A bit? A bit, yes. Lion Bridge. Lion Bridge Studio. I don't believe all these people have worked on this game. Like. Yeah, well, maybe not just on the game, but they're like part of everything. Like every update, and like every. Local localization team has their own group. Then again, this is too much Minecraft. This is too much Minecraft. We shouldn't even have played Minecraft. It's so much Minecraft that my fucking recording's about to end on its own naturally. And then you're just gonna hear our voices. Here we go. <sighs> Rumpfus! What are you saying that to me for? You didn't try and press anything either. I did. I tried the walls and the arrows. I tried the arrows too and nothing happened. <sighs> oh, I got a special thanks. Quality, t the UK quality team. Oh, the development partner, the BBI. Disbelief. Because we're still here. I'm yeah. in disbelief. Skybox. Adrian Smith. Daniel Schimpf. Eh. <laughs> Isaac <laughs> Allen. Jaeger Nast. Jonathan Yim. Leo Hewitt. Rick Huang. Vicky Huang. Okay, come on, guys. Red Lens, guys. <sighs> Virtuosity. The Mojang alumni. Matt Booty. Oh, damn. You think he's got one? That'd be some cruel fate if he didn't. If he had the flattest ass in the world. Yeah. Oh. A lot of Petersons I've been seeing. The Peetsies. Paul Spooner. Mike Frost. Batista? What? <laughs> I have my glasses on. <laughs> Tom Miles. Don Frazier the second. Oh, come on. Wickdoor person. Poey Poey Chen. Still going.
Keep it going. <laughs> I've never had um, as much as as nice as this game was. I've never had a credit scene test my patience like Minecraft. Like Minecraft, yes. Could have made the like the text smaller. Yeah. For this. Or they could have just made it quicker in general. Yeah, I like, like in um, movies and stuff. Well, I was gonna say in um, fucking Super Smash Bros. No, not what I'm talking about. Oh. Um, blasphemous. They had like a million people to thank because of every backer they had from like Kickstarter or Indiegogo. Yeah. But you could like times sixteen get through it all. Yeah. So. Here we are. Intellectual property enforcement lead. <laughs> HR! Sorcerer, Sophia, thank you. Recruiters! Oh, damn. Excel, a division of CompuCom. Oh, Lord. Skybox. Skybox. <laughs> Sounds like Skynet. Oh, shit. The co-op programmers. Yeah. Red Adam lens. Blaining. Blaining. Are they just doing this again? We've already seen front of house. And the studio quality alumni. Lion Bridge, all Lion Bridge. This time, yeah. The names are making it. Oh, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the boat, no. Boat lines. Boat lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover, unknown. All that. For a, a quote. quote from nobody knows who. Who the fuck said that quote? They were probably drunk when they said it. Hmm. They just went to a bar and some guy was like, hey, <laughs> listen to me. Do the things. Black. Oh, oh. Oh, shit! Here we are, back. No. We gotta get back to town. We don't. <laughs> We're done. We, di we finished our quest. We killed the dragon. And now... Now we say our goodbyes. Yes. Thank you for watching. This has been Minecraft. I'm Rumpfus. I'm Firefly. Good night, be safe, and cast, cast on. on.